In this lesson, we are going to look at how to iterate through a hash map. Now, because hash maps have keys and values, it might be tricky at first. Now, you can get the entries in a hash map using a method called entry set. This will give you a set of all the keys and values. So the entry set has entries. And each of that entry has a particular key tied to a value. We can use for each to loop through this entry set. And as we are printing out in each iteration, we can print out the particular key and value for that particular entry. If you notice, I am using var because I am using Java 11. Java 11 is modern java there are more modern versions but i wanted to use modern java features when we run the program you can see the output is printed out we have our keys and we have our values so you can use this to get the keys and values from a hash map there are some other ways of getting only the values for example when you call the hash map, instead of calling entry set, what you do is you call values. That's it. All you need to do is just call values. So you receive a collection of all the values. And just like entry set, you can loop through these values using a for each loop. So in this situation, each element in this collection is a string. It's a collection of strings. So we're representing the values in this hash map. So when we print out or run this program, it is supposed to print out HP, Dell, Apple, and then ASOS. And that is what we have in the output. Now you might say, okay, what if I just want the keys? That is fine as well. All you need to do is to call key set. And let us quickly change the variable names. We don't need to change the variable names, but so that it makes sense. We call key set. It returns a set of the keys. So we have four keys here. And when we run it, it prints out all the keys. That's it for the keys and values. Now, because we are using modern Java, there is a simpler way to print out the values if all you want to do is just to print out the values. You can use the for each method found in the iterable interface. So I call hashmap.values, then I call for each. You need to be a little bit comfortable with Lambda expressions to use this. So what this is, is for each element, I'll call it S, print out the element. So when I call system.out.print, I can go ahead and pass in S. This does the same purpose, but it's simpler. When we run it, it prints out all the values. We can even simplify this further by using method reference instead of Lambda expression. In case all these terms are new to you, um, I will leave a description or a link to a course on Lambda expressions below. Now, because values or key sets return a collection, we can make a stream out of it. So for example, let's say I want to add all the keys that are integers. I can call a stream, call the reduce method, and if present, print it out. This is a little bit advanced, but I think I have answered the question already on how do you loop through a hash map. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.